The city plans to install this new technology in the busy tourist corridor around a Fremont Street. Now, officials say this new technology will be able to detect people crossing busy streets like this one that you see right behind me and provide them with enough time to cross it safely. I think that'd be an amazing idea. On Thursday, the city of Las Vegas announced a new pilot program they say could help make our streets safer for pedestrians. It's busy. It's very busy here. The city is set to receive $1.4 million, which it will use to install new cameras on traffic lights in the tourist corridor around Fremont Street. The city says the cameras will be able to detect when people are crossing the street and will not allow traffic lights to turn green if there's still people crossing. That'll be good for safety. Asa Boucher is visiting from California and says the busy streets in Las Vegas could be scary, but adds the new technology could help increase safety for everyone. The kids and the elderly, the disabled, they need a place to be able to feel safe too and be able to feel free to walk and do what they need to do. Yeah, with the extra safety factor, I think it would be, you know, prevent a lot of injuries. Locals like Caesar are skeptical of the new tech and say pedestrians will also have to step up to make a difference. And it's not necessarily going to work because you got people that are, pardon my English, idiots that just go on a red or green light. They don't care. They want to get hit. Nevada Congresswoman Dina Titus helped the city of Las Vegas secure the funds. In a statement, she says in part, quote, Las Vegas will pilot adaptive technology, significantly reducing pedestrian-related crashes and improving traffic flow along our community's roadways. The city of Las Vegas is also hopeful that new technology could help curtail a growing issue in the valley. The city's public works director, Joey Paskey, says, quote, The city of Las Vegas is thankful for these federal grant funds so that this new technology can be tested and potentially lead to our roadways being safer for everyone. City officials say the new technology will be operational by 2025. For now, reporting near Fremont Street, I'm Giovanni Carrillo.